Hi everyone, Devin here again from Do North Bricks, and uh, we've got some exciting new news, uh, official news from LEGO. Uh, there has been unofficial news, but I did not want to broadcast anything until it was official. Uh, so LEGO is releasing uh, a new set, the LEGO Titanic. It's going to be set number 10294, and it's going to have a whopping 9,090 pieces. It's for ages 8 and up. Um, it's going to come in at uh, $129.99 USD. In Canada, it'll be $79.99, uh, $799.99 uh, Canadian dollars. And in Europe, it'll be $629.99 uh, uh, euros. <laughs> Sorry, I'm mumbling around. And then finally, in uh, Great Britain pounds, it'll be f uh, $569 and I'm uh, sorry, 569 pounds and 99 cents. Uh, so they're going to be releasing this um, November uh, 8th and pre orders start November 1st of 2021. Uh, this set actually comes in at a whopping uh, 4.4 feet so it's actually 53 inches or if you go into metric it's 120 i'm uh, sorry 135 centimeters so let's take a quick look at this so this is the front box art as you've been seeing and then let's go to the next one so here's the whole model in its entirety uh, for some reason it's coming with three tools I don't know. I, I guess maybe so it can be a, a joint effort. Uh, it has a nice little plaque saying Titanic, and it looks like those are going to be little prints uh, for each of the letters. Uh, it's a very, very detailed uh, model. Uh, let's take the next look. And so this is uh, from bow to stern, up one side. Uh, looks really good. Uh, it's it's not the scale that you can put little minifigs on the front of it and play out a, a scene from a famous movie, uh, but <laughs> it's very, very detailed for its size. Uh, so here's another look, and even closer up. And then here's another side view. Now it looks like it's going to come with three flags here. So we've got a, a Union Jack. An American flag up at the top of the uh, front mast, and at the back you've got the uh, British uh, uh, blue ensign. Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's take another look. Okay, here's the back, and it'll have. It looks like it's going to be a sticker saying "Titanic Liverpool" on the back. That looks pretty cool. Look at the um, down below if you uh, see the. Uh, screws. It's going to have all three screws. Detail is just amazing on this set. Let's take another look here. And then, uh, so this is the stern end. So you got a, an upper observation deck, and you've got all these cranes along here. Looks very, very good. Okay, next picture. So here's an up-close view of the bridge. Uh, will not ha be sized for uh, even the micro figs. Uh, well, if they were to do that, it'd be even larger than it already is. Um, my only thing I would say is it's going to have some repetitivity, but it's not bad. So in the next view, it, this was surprising to me, uh, but also a helpful uh thing to have is it divides into three sections here so you're able to get a cutaway of all of the decks like, that's really really cool uh that they did that and then uh the next picture is an is an actual full view of the the decks and you've even got the uh steam turbines going there and you can actually turn looks like you can turn them so that they'll actually uh start rotating and if you look above the steam turbines, you can see all the different uh, cabins going up, 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 until you get up to 
uh, what looks like it's going to be the dining area. And then up further, you're going to have a sort of a, a lounge area there. So next photo. Uh, more of the, the engines there. More cabins going up. And then uh, up at the very top, it looks like it's a lounge dining area. And it looks like there's going to be a tiny printed tile there for uh, the, a compass rose. That looks pretty cool. So next photo is a straight cutaway, uh, almost the same view as before. That looks really cool. All right, so next photo, uh, yeah, it's the engines again, going all the way up. And then uh, here's another one, no engines down below, more little uh, rooms, well, cabins. I like how they they they're using like the lines there uh to hold up the the smokestack well to help keep the smokestack stable that looks really cool and then here's another view yeah that looks very very detailed that's amazing and then next view is just sort of you know this is how you could present it it's in a, like a not a bay window. What kind of window is that? Uh, I like the rustic, uh, older antique wood there. That looks pretty cool. And then the next view, actually, this is one I I, uh, I was glad they showed. It shows the scale to an individual. So the woman's here uh, enjoying her gigantic Titanic Lego set and in her what looks to be like a library or a den. It uh, looks very, very cool. And uh, last but not least, here's the back of the box. So overall impressions, this is a very, 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 very cool set. I would love to get it, but for a whopping $799.99, I really, really have to think about it. <laughs> uh, even as a Christmas item, this is uh this is running up there. I I do have the the UCS Millennium Falcon that my uh wife uh purchased for me uh for uh one event and then I also have the UCS uh Death Star which I haven't shown you guys yet. I'll uh, be doing that in the future. But those sets uh don't compare anywhere to this one in the level of detail. This is just amazing. Okay, so I'm going to sign off for now, and I hope you like this little video, and uh, I, I hope uh, I've encouraged a few of you to go out and buy the set. <laughs> and don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, I do appreciate any, any comments you also make in uh, the actual comment section of these videos. Okay, all right, thank you very much, and you have a great day. All right, bye.